Welcome back to Surviving and Thriving, where we share with you the things that we have learned as we have transitioned our family from struggling to survive disease to thriving, right smack dab in the midst of it, in the hopes that something that we share with you will help you, enlighten you, and encourage you as you transition your family from struggling to survive disease to thriving, right smack dab in the midst of it. Well, hello, I have thought a lot about you all, said a lot of prayers for you all, couldn't wait back to get to you all, and missed you all. Um, I am well, I'm alive, hallelujah, doing well, everything is good. I know I suddenly disappeared. What in the world happened, right? Well, we ain't going to go into all of that, but do you remember on some videos, I'll have it posted up there for you that you can click on and look at them if you need a reminder. Um, we've talked about a lot in the past how sometimes you have to focus in to win your battle. You have to be able to focus in on your fight to get through, right? And we've also talked about self-preservation, that sometimes there are times where you have to do what you got to do so that you can make it through, right? And that oftentimes mean you might have to cut some things out. Well, that's where I've been. That's what I had to do. I, I had to focus in on a, a, a fight and I had to <laughs> believe God that I make it through. And it was a tough road. It wasn't all that easy. Um, but I'm grateful to God that I'm still here. So pray for my healing, right? <laughs> Emotional and mental and physical and all that good stuff, right? Because sometimes, you know, you go through some traumatic things and some tra traumatizing things and it leaves you feeling vulnerable, right? And unsure. And I had to go through a lot of that, but we went through a lot and we made it through and I'm grateful to God that his grace and his mercy met me and brought me through. So that is where I have been. And hopefully we're in a good place to be able to continue on, but we're going to go ahead and move forward now and see how it goes, right? So how are y'all doing? Y'all doing well? You've been fighting a good fight going through? Look, I know been a lot going on in the world right but I'm glad that you're still here and the fact that you're still here says you are winning so I have exciting news for you all here it is you ready so I used to go and post videos once a week but in this new season of my life remember that focus right um, in that new season of my this new season of my life for however long this will be, we will I will post once a month. On the first of every month, I will post a video. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get those alarms and um, be be alerted to get those alerts so that you can know that a new video has came out and remind you. But always look forward to the first of the month for a new video to come out. Here's the other thing I want to share with you guys. We're going to do a series talking about self-love right and the importance of self-love so each video for the next few video is going to talk about a different aspect of it yes we know that self-care is important but you probably ain't gonna do self-care without a lot of self-love right and we're not talking about being narcissistic we're not talking about being selfish right we're talking about good healthy self-love and the importance of it so we're going to talk a little bit about setting boundaries, setting boundaries for yourself and setting boundaries for others. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about self-talk because y'all know that stuff is really important. We got to love ourselves and love our body. And sometimes when you're dealing with overcoming um, chronic illness, sickness, disease, health trauma, health crisis, right? You can get frustrated with your body. You can get frustrated with things that are going on with your body. And it is so easy to slip into talking negative to yourself or getting frustrated with yourself or not liking your body because of what it looks like while it's going through or because of something that it's going through or you feel like it's hindering you and that is self-defeating so we're going to really talk about the importance of talking good to yourself right be encouraging to yourself and to your body and understanding the fact that what you're going through and what your body is overcoming and enduring is not who you are right and so don't hate who you are or hate your body it's the only body you're gonna get so you might as well love it talk good to it because if you don't sweet talk it baby ain't nobody else gonna sweet talk it right 
we're going to talk a little bit about um, fighting for yourself. You know, there's a lot of people out there who don't do the necessary things that they know they need to do for their health. Why? Because they really don't love themselves. And a lot of your fight to overcome is about how much you love yourself. And you need to know the importance. I need to know. We all need to know the importance of who we are and that we're worth the fight. And how can we expect somebody else and loved ones to fight for us if we're not willing to fight for ourselves? The fight starts with us. And ultimately, it's our fight. We suffer the consequences if we lose. And we reap the reward and the benefits if we win. And I'm worth the fight. And I want you to know that you're worth the fight. We're also going to talk a little bit um, about the importance of self-love. Because self-love, it can be the difference between life and death. We'll go into more of that later. So y'all stay tuned. Uh, we're going to talk about that. And that's what's up in the future. I hope you all are doing well. And hey, be active in these videos. If you're seeing some things and we're talking about some things um, in these subjects dealing with self-love, things that you've learned, right? You might be able to help someone else. So share it down in the comments below. And as always, you guys can send me a, um, a shout out privately on an email. I do appreciate those. Um, and you, as you know, I do respond back. Okay. So it's so good to be back and it's so good to see you. And remember, do you remember? You know what I'm going to say, right? In all things, at all times, do you be you. There's nobody else out there that's like you and there will never be anyone else out there that's you you're the only uniquely you so you know what you got one life to live you might as well go on and be who you are who God created to be let your hair down all right until next month bye